Finally, if you look closely, you can see that she's munching on a strawberry. This is to help you remember that another symptom of scarlet fever is reddening and swelling of the tongue, which is also sometimes referred to as a strawberry tongue. This is an image of the strawberry red tongue. Notice that the tongue right here resembles a strawberry. The third and final toxigenic disease is necrotizing fasciitis. This is a soft tissue infection that results in destruction of the subcutaneous fat and muscle fascia. The infection spreads rapidly and is a surgical emergency because it results in tissue death or necrosis. Necrosis results in dead, dark tissue, just like this pie is black and burned. So the burnt pie in this image should help you remember that strep pyogenes causes necrotizing fasciitis. Okay, now let's discuss some other virulence factors for strep pyogenes. Notice that we've added a woman towards the back of the image right here who is cutting up some strawberry-filled donuts. This can be a bit difficult to see, so let's zoom up. The O-shaped donuts in the image are here to help you remember streptolysin O. Streptolysin O is a toxin that degrades cell membranes and lyses red blood cells. The fact that the donuts are filled with jelly and jelly is flying all over the place should help you remember that this toxin lyses red blood cells. She's also cutting up strawberries to place them on top of the donuts. The letter S in strawberry should help you remember that another similar toxin to streptolysin O is streptolysin S. Okay, now that we've zoomed out, you can see that we've added a guy laying on the couch next to the window. If you look closely at his forehead, you can see that he has a towel on him and appears to have a fever. This guy with the fever is here to help you remember that strep pyogenes causes rheumatic fever. 